Hello everybody, my name is Mari Jose and I'm from Mexico, yay! So, I want to tell you a little bit of my story with mental illness. Uh, I'm 22 years old and I'm diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. It all started when I was a kid. I went through depression, OCD, anxiety, insomnia, suicidal thoughts. You know, everything, basically. But it wasn't until I grew up when I realized that there was something different about me, that there was something wrong, that <laughs> I wasn't like the other teenagers, you know, taking my meds, you know, and everything. So I started to make my research and everything, but it wasn't until I had like a big breakdown, like a crisis when I was 19, that uh, I went with a new psychiatrist and he told me that I, I had borderline personality disorder. That wasn't the formal diagnosis. The formal diagnosis, well, uh, they gave it to me like a year ago. But still, like, I knew that it was borderline personality disorder. <laughs> so, um, you know, the one of the hardest parts of this disorder is that the ups and downs. You know, that one moment you're so happy, you're so full of energy and everything. It's just perfect. And then something triggers you like this and you're sad. Life is not worth it, you want to die. And then the other second, you're so angry, you want to punch everybody in their faces. And it's exhausting. Not only mentally, physically, also exhausting. So it's hard. Uh, also, the anxiety, the panic attacks that come with it. You know, you have to learn to cope with it. And also, the fear of abandonment. You know, um, I've lost so many good friends because of that. Because when I used to think that they were going to abandon me, I treated them like like they were nothing. I treated them so badly that I lost so many good friendships. And I regret it so much. But I'm working on it. And I'm working on everything. I've been on recovery over a year ago. And... By one hand, I'm taking my medications, you know, because I am a truth believer that there is a environmental part and there is a organic and or genetic part. You know, for example, I come from a long history of mental illness in my family, <laughs> honestly. So, and also the psychological therapy that I go every week to my session, every week, every week has helped me a lot. But if something I've learned there is something that I have learned is that it's not my fault. It's not anybody's fault. So if you're suffering from any mental illness, it's not your fault. But you can get help and recovery is possible. Because if I'm okay now, you're okay. Bye.